you see there's not much room to work in here. I'm taping all these together so I know they're going back on together. Dang it, I still ended up pulling the damn thing. Ugh. Two thousand seventeen. Might as well replace it. Battery one is the one stuff. That was a real pain. This is so much easier to get into that side than this side. I gotta get down there. Oh crap. Alright, yeah, that was stupid. Luckily, it's pretty shady over the panel. You're never supposed to have the solar controller hooked to a panel, not hooked to a battery. And I just did. Oh. This does suck, man. This sucks, man. Okay, the problem I have when I'm going through all of this crap is that right there. You put a lot of pressure coming in and out of there. And there was a small bolt in there and I took it out and put in a bigger bolt and the bigger bolt didn't bite. So now I have a big old hole and nothing to screw into. I've got to put a screw in there. What I did was pull that vent out of the side. I'm gonna be a pain putting it back in there. But I can reach through there and get to there. Alright, so what we're working on today is this. That wobble. The reason we need to fix that wobble is because we always have a tendency to do this. We're putting all that weight on here and here. With this loose and wobbling, the more you do that, the more it's gonna wobble and eventually it's just gonna rip out. So, I tried before, which I did on some of these, I got some screws that were pretty much like double the size of the screws that were in there. And when I took these off, I epoxied over all the old holes and re drilled them when I put the bolts in but I put all over more than double the size screws in and so most of those sides it worked but for this one here I don't know why but it did not grab anything um, that's why I pulled all the batteries and all that stuff I was trying to get up underneath luckily we can get to it from this vent so we're gonna be able to put some bolts in it but yeah definitely got to get this secured back down because that moving around is no good so it looks as though there is a plate up under there. Okay, so looking at this plate, as you can see, I can put my finger behind it. What happened is, when I screwed them bolts in, it actually pushed that plate down. And the bolts are behind it and not in it. 
and that's why it didn't grab anything. So we're going to have to pull those out and then try to get down through that plate all in one piece. and move dang it can't believe I did that was so stupid ah oh, that was so stupid when I pulled them screws out it allowed it to slide back the good thing is I do have a big washer to go on there so we'll get it straightened out, but yeah, it was bad. Hey, so I, that was a stupid mistake on my part. I pulled the bolts out and allowed it to slide forward. And the worst thing about it was, is that I sat there peeling the butyl tape going, man, I, I why is this not painted underneath? Um, Cause I pulled them off to, to paint, but yeah, that was why it, was, it should have clicked that it had slid. But the good thing is, is I do have these big washers and where I drilled down is on the edge of the plate that's already there. So putting this washer in his nut on that one should pull that plate back up. And it's big enough to cover the hole that I drilled. So The problem I have is, do I have enough to get this to bite? Dang, I knew that was going to happen. Ah! I don't know if I can get to those. It figures nothing I can ever do can be easy for some reason I tried to run this bolt in to pull the plate up so that it would bend it up and I could get the nut on and I don't know if the nut stripped or what happened but I can't get it out so nothing Nothing is as easy on this, I don't know. Okay, so if anybody else is having problems with loose railings, this is what your issue is going to be. This plate, your railing sits on top, the side of the boat, the bolt goes through, it goes through into this plate. Now, this plate has three little nuts on it. If you're screwing the screw in and it's not tightening up, it's because these little nuts are stripped out. Now, me with my broad idea, I decided to put a bigger bolt through, thinking, you know, it would grab more. The problem is, is you can see it hit this plate, and this is the way this plate sits. So as you can see, what it did was it hit it, didn't go through the nut, it just bent it down out of the way. So it was grabbing nothing. So, yeah, if your bolts are not tightening up, don't just try to put a bigger bolt through it's not going to work just going to cause a bigger mess for you so what i'm having to do is actually pull this plate out and i'm putting in new bolts with washers so yeah i can honestly say i don't think there, i mean there's no other there's no easy fix you can't just put a bigger bolt in and expect it to hold so it's just going to push that plate out of the way <sighs> nothing's easy No saving it. Oh, <laughs> let me get back up there. Yeah. Try this again.
I do believe it's on there now. Oh my god. So you see that piece was broke off. So I just shoved it in the hole. I had this backwards. Yeah, that was way harder than it should have been. This on there. No more wobbling. That should have been so much easier than it actually was. <laughs> 